And there goes the rocket. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Holy ma holy shit, look at it go. Look at it go. And we're waiting for an incredible amount of noise about to hit. Insane. Insane what we are seeing right now. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe it. Holy shit! The noise! The noise is out of control. Good evening everyone, we have taken a huge step towards the third test flight of Starship. According to the FAA, a statement that was sent about a half an hour ago, the following has taken place, quote, the FAA has closed the SpaceX-led mishap investigation of the Starship Super Heavy Orbital Test Flight 2 launch that occurred on November 18th, 2023. SpaceX identified in the FAA accepts the root causes and 17 corrective actions documented in SpaceX's mishap report. Seven corrective actions were identified for the Super Heavy booster, including vehicle hardware redesigns, updated control system modeling, re-evaluation of engine analyses based on OTF-2 flight data, and an updated engine control algorithms. Ten corrective actions were identified for the Starship vehicle, including vehicle hardware redesigns, operational changes, flammability analysis updates, installation of additional fire protection, and guidance and modeling updates. The closure of the mishap investigation does not signal an immediate authorization for the next Starship launch. Prior to the next launch, SpaceX must implement all corrective actions and receive a license modification from the FAA that addresses all safety, environmental, and other applicable regulatory requirements. The FAA is evaluating SpaceX's license modification request and expects SpaceX to submit additional required information before a final determination can be made. Contact SpaceX for further information because they don't want to get a flood of questions from people like me. And they also provide a link to learn more about the FAA mishap program. And I have that link in the description if you'd like to check it out. Also, the FAA oversaw the SpaceX-led investigation to ensure the company complied with its FAA-approved mishap plan and other regulatory requirements. And the FAA was involved in every step of the mishap investigation and granted NASA and the National Transportation Safety Board official observer status. So obviously, NASA was a big part of overseeing everything going on with this mishap evaluation and mishap corrective action plan. So what comes next? Well, really, a lot of this is just going to be dotting I's and crossing T's. The FAA has been working very closely with SpaceX throughout this entire process and will almost certainly provide them with a launch license at about the same time that the rocket is ready to go. Keep in mind that SpaceX recently carried out two wet dress rehearsal attempts, both of which had to be aborted, so it's possible that some additional modifications and testing need to be carried out on the booster and the orbiter before any of this can really go forward anyway. All of this should actually take place at roughly the same time, at about the time that the rocket is really ready to go, which has been pretty consistent with the FAA's licensing up to this point anyway. 
Even after the 420 launch, it really took SpaceX about six months to get a new rocket ready and to correct all the issues with the first launch before they were really ready to go anyway. The two organizations seem to have been working very closely together and I see no evidence to suggest that the FAA has been trying to hold SpaceX back at all. And if you want more information about what the FAA does, especially when it comes to ensuring public safety, then you really need to check out my exclusive interview with Administrator Coleman from the FAA. There were a number of journalists who were at the FAA convention, but to my knowledge, I was the only one granted an exclusive interview. And if you want to know why the FAA does what they do, probably be a good idea to check that interview out because it's my least viewed video in the last three or four years. That doesn't make a great deal of sense to me. If you're going to be critical of the FAA, you should at least hear them out from their side. And this is a great opportunity to get their perspective on things and what matters to the FAA versus what matters to SpaceX and all of us. So please like, Please subscribe and also please check out this interview. It's linked at the end of this video. And also please check the description for various ways to support this content so I can go to conventions like this FAA event and get more exclusive content. So until next time, guys, I urge all of you to stay angry about space.